Good morning all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is, at this point in time, a beautiful day in Zamunda. It is 69 degrees, giggity. It's beautiful and sunny, absolutely pleasant out. The problem is, is that, let's see, it's 1030, about three o'clock, we're supposed to be getting severe storms. Severe in that there's actually warnings to get prepared to take shelter because there's going to be considerable hail and possibly a tornado. It's gonna get nasty out and you wouldn't even know it because it's so beautiful out. I'm on my way to the chiropractor right now because she's gonna be closed at the end of next week. So I kind of want to get my adjustment in now for the weekend, and then uh, hopefully all will be well. Let's go take care of my twisted spine. All right, so it's been a weird day. Go figure. It was supposed to be like dangerous storms starting at three. Three to six was supposed to be the most dangerous time. So I did not plan on doing anything this afternoon. In fact, I did some day job stuff. I actually just sat down and did the expense report from this week, which is unheard of. So I'm pretty much all caught up. Now, here's the thing. It has been gorgeous and sunny all damn day. So I sat inside for nothing. I could have been out at Pleasure House Point. I could have done like four loops if I wanted to because it was so nice all day. It's just now starting to get overcast. It is five to five. So it changed from three to six to it's supposed to maybe start raining around six. Still getting the whole warning thing about hail and, and storms and all that shit. Don't know if it's coming or not, but the bottom line is, is that I kind of pissed the day away sitting inside doing not much when I could have been outside playing. Wah! All right, in the meantime though, and I started thinking about this last night, it's been a while since I've changed the studio. <laughs> you can feel it coming, right? So. I kind of think it's time for me to redo things in here. Couple of things I want to do. I want to get rid of like most of the furniture, at least the furniture that doesn't have anything to do with the office. So the desks, well the desk, the table, the printer stand, it, that all stays. The humidifier cabinet with the lenses and all that shit, that stays. I have this, I don't know, I don't even know what the hell you call it. I'm not good at naming furniture, but it basically has uh, you know, shelves down below. And then, I mean, not shelves, but well, I guess they are shelves, but they're hidden by doors. And then there's like one, two, three, like three shelves over there. And I used to put all my crap on it. And then I decided that having all that crap on there just made it so that I didn't ever freaking clean or dust. So I got rid of all the crap that was on it and put it all in Rubbermaid stuff and it's in the garage. Now I want to get rid of that thing. I want to get rid of the magical drawers because it takes up a lot of space. So what that means is that I need to go through the magical drawers and once and for all, take everything out of there that I'm not gonna use. Or if nothing else, it all gets put in Rubbermaid shit and thrown up in the garage. So I gotta get rid of that. I will keep the small one here that I have like paper for the printer, uh, you know, uh, garbage bags, cleaning supplies, dumb shit like that simply because the fact that the whole reason I put that there was for the cat. So the cat could hop up there and, you know, look out the window. He doesn't do it as often as I expected him to, but I guess that's just because I'm in here all the time and he just doesn't really do it. Every once in a while he jumps up there. So even if he's going to do it once, I'm going to keep that there. So I can either load my garage up with all this crap and the, the, the shelves, the white shelves will go perfectly in the library and I can get rid of the other Ikea crap and, and you know, either throw them away or do something else with them. I got a lot of shit that is going on in my head. One thing is it's time for the blue to go. Now you can't see it because it's, you know, outside the shelves. But at one point I had it with the oak paneling that is now downstairs in the garage. And then surrounding the oak paneling, I had like bright, bright red paint. Then I got done with that. I pulled all the paneling off. I fixed the holes and I covered everything in like a dark, like a cobalt blue, maybe a little bit darker. And that's been great for a while. Now I think I'm going to actually paint it all white. So that way I can just use these accent lights in a different way. The white will just sort of be a perfect neutral background to take whatever I do with the lighting behind me. I also really wish that I didn't have to have an office, that I could just use this as a studio because then that would change things up a lot. It would change it so that the point is, is that, that I would have more space because all that room is taken up over there by having to have an office. 
And there's no getting rid of that. I have to have the office. But if I get rid of all this other shit behind me, that gives me like another two or three feet of room out this way, which then I can do something else with. Now, what I would like to do is I literally like the, the camera is so close to me that I barely have to lift my arm to touch it so that I can frame according to the shelves. So if I get rid of that and I just have a white background, I can literally do anything I want behind me probably just color things with light. It's something that I can do that I can't do here because I've got the shelves up. And since I took everything off the shelves, I don't really need to have them there. So I've got a lot of ideas in my head of what I'd like to do. At one point, you know, when I had the studio, I was turned 45 degrees and I had everything this way and I had these bookshelves arranged so that they sort of went catty corner across here. And that was fine for a while, although that was a pain in the ass too, because then all my equipment was pushed further out towards the office portion, and it was very difficult to maneuver around stuff. And I had that SL60 in here, I had the SL60 up there where I put the thing in the ceiling. No matter what, it was a pain in the ass, because there's just too much stuff in here. And I have wanted to move like the magical drawer thing out of here for the longest time, and then I started thinking, well, if I get rid of that, I might as well get rid of the shelves. Perhaps if I just get rid of these shelves and put them in the library and sort of line that up that way, that gives me, you know, I can move back another couple feet and then I can move the camera further that way. And then basically like right outside the confines of the here, let me just pull it back here. So you can see the edge here and the edge here, and then you can kind of see the blue over there. And that's kind of, I mean, I mean, it's almost as wide as my arms just a little bit, a little bit beyond that. If I were to have that space and it was just all white behind me, again, the world is my oyster. I can do whatever I want by painting with light or, or putting up a picture behind me or something like that. There's a lot that I can do. There's nothing I can do. It's all the same old, you know, BS where I just have to sort of come up with a plan and, and make it happen. I figure since it's going to be rainy and shitty for the next several days, it might be the time to do it. If I do that, then what I might have to do is instead of painting the entire wall, leave the blue up in that section. That way I can, and then if I get rid of the, the magical drawer thing, then I've got this setting here. If I step over five feet, then I've got that setting over there. And I guess I could actually keep the magical drawers there and just clean off the top and, and you know make it look presentable. I do need to change the pictures. I've had these sort of like two dark sunset pictures up there. I think it's time to start printing out birds and, and getting some of my bird pictures up. The bottom line is, is that change is coming. It's time for me to change up the, the studio. Now that I've got my gear all situated and I'm ready to go there, it seemed like a perfect time to then change the studio and film that and show you what I'm doing. That being said, what do you guys think? What do you think I should do? This room is not small. It's not huge by any stretch of the imagination. And I've done an awful lot in here. As you've seen, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you can see all the, even if you just go look at the thumbnails, you can see the different things that I've done over the past couple of years. And I'd kind of like to keep that going where I change it up every once in a while just to make things different. Not that there's anything wrong with this back here, but I've just, I've seen it enough and I kind of want to do something else. Drop your suggestions down below, let me know. You might actually give me a really good idea that, that gets things going up here and I might try to do that. For now, that's pretty much all I've got. I had a much different day planned than what it turned out to be. And at this point now, it it's getting worse by the minute and there's just not much for me to do outside. So this is what you get. All right, that's it, that's all I got. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.